So today we are doing a special unboxing. Oh my goodness. And this is basically gone and sold out everywhere because there's been like a whole panic on this. And I'm also sat on the floor. I normally sit on the table, but I get puffed out so quickly. So I'm sat on the floor because maybe that's easier. So you have to put up with my twink boy legs in the background there, unfortunately for you. <laughs> so, parcel opener, let's go. Can you open the parcel now? Get excited, everyone. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not very strong. <laughs> Don't worry, we got it. Yay. Okay, we're going to open it. Do, 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 do. Oh, just what I wanted. Some paper. Yay. Okay. Whoa. Look. Oh, my goodness. These are big boxes. Okay. It's the One Piece trading card game. Look how big those boxes are. They're really big. Okay, so this is a brand new trading card game is the first english release it's brand new for english release and uh it's a pretty big deal because one piece so one piece if you don't know one piece is the greatest anime of all time and it's not my favorite anime but it is the greatest anime uh the problem with it is that there's already like over a thousand episodes and so because of that it's very hard to get into it and very hard to catch up with its current state. And I'm extraordinarily slow at watching television and stuff like that. So um, we'll, so where we do these unboxes, we're going to have to see how we go because uh, there, there may be characters that I may or may not recognize because I am not very far through 1000 parts of it. OK, so I got the deck. So I bought the this is deck number one. This is the Straw Hat crew, so this is the main characters. I bought the main pirate crew here. And I bought deck number three, which is the seven warlords of the sea. And I only really know one or two of the seven warlords because I haven't watched very much. And so this guy is one of the seven warlords. So I bought the two things that I was actually able to <laughs> partake in as far as I can. Okay, And we also have the Romance Dawn booster packs. And I tell ya, these are quite chunky. They're quite chunky feeling. So far, everything feels like quite a good production value. I'm not sure who's printing these, but this is quite chunky, quite a good production value so far. So Romance Dawn is the first arc in One Piece, is the first storyline in One Piece. And I don't know if they're saying that this booster pack is therefore Romance Dawn as in it is cards from the first arc of One Piece, or whether they're saying it's Romance Dawn in the sense that it's the first booster pack for the game, because they could mean either way. I would really like it, actually, if they made one booster box series for every arc, because there's so many arcs, they might as well do that. And then you can kind of, like, play the game as the story evolves. That'd be pretty cool. But I'm not entirely sure that's how they've distributed it, so we'll find out. Um... And I will say that if you do watch One Piece, the Romance Dawn arc, in my opinion, does not uh, elevate One Piece to the to the god godliness that it is. So if you do watch Romance Dawn, I think that it's quite basic, generic anime until you watch like a lot more of it. So just if you are going to watch it, you got to know that going in that it, it does. It gets a lot, a lot better. Like every time it goes. Anyway, enough chatting. Oh my gosh, we chatting for okay. So I guess we're going to open this box and we'll leave this box. I bought two so that I can battle with my friend and make my friend play with me. So, <laughs> But let's open this box here. OK, so see the side of the boxes that actually looks like a big chunky uh, a, a manga volume. It looks like you kind of bought it as a manga. So I really like that. That's actually a nice display size and everything. That's probably why they've gone for this kind of size. Right. We've got some sellotape. This is my worst enemy, so. <laughs> All right, I come out here. Yeah, look, there we go. Okay, this is interesting packaging, isn't it? So we've got our game essentials, and we've got this massive box. That's it. It's just a big old, isn't that funny? It's just a big, it's just a big box. Okay, cool. All right, here's the, oh my gosh, that's chunky. Look at that. Look at the chunk. Uh, <laughs> it won't come up. Uh, oh, 
Okay, so these are our Don cards. They've got a green back. It looks quite nice. So Don is the Japanese sound effect for when you hit a drum, like a Japanese drum. You probably heard them go like dong before. So, and I believe that when Luffy, Luffy's the main character. If you don't know this, when when Luffy first appears, he bursts out of a barrel, and I believe that the sound effect in the background is a Don. Sound effect in in the manga, it's drawn as a don. So they're basically like energy cards or mana cards. If you play Magic the Gathering or Pokemon and stuff like that, and I'm usually quite critical of a card game that has energy. This has energy because、um, you're always annoyed on your turn when you don't have energy. But in this particular game, you, I believe, you receive two don cards every turn. So you always have a chance to do something. So it's interesting because when you're designing a card game, you've got the problem of how do I allow and disallow my players to get powerful cards out, and so energy is a way you would do that. And so in this game, there is energy, which is a downside, but the the upside is that you get to every turn. Anyway, nobody cares about me talking about Wafflin. Okay, it's Luffy. He's shiny. Look at that! That's pretty cool. Oh, we got another Luffy. Look at that! That's interesting. So we can have a leader and also just have him as a card as well. We got Zoro. He's shiny. That's very cool. So we got the whole crew here. There is actually a time jump in One Piece as well, and I haven't caught up to the time jump at the moment. So the characters that we're seeing here, as far as I'm aware, are from the time jump. Uh, after the time jump, so they're from their from their older、uh, from their older thing because Chopper Chopper is one of my favorite characters, but that's his secondary hat. He actually has a he actually has a different hat to that at the beginning. So it's interesting because this is the it's interesting how they've done it because this is the introduction to to to, to the game. But obviously they had to decide like how to do it because on the one hand they could do it. From the beginning, but on the other hand, they can do it from the present. So, obviously, they've gone for the char the the characters in their current look. All right, so we're going to open up the booster pack. I think that overall the quality is really good, and I think that it would make a nice gift or something like that. Overall, it's good quality. I can't get into it. I take it back. Oh no! It's impossible to get in it. We're gonna have to cut it. I'm sorry, Luffy. I'm gonna cut it off. All right, here we go. Boom! Huh. This is what we got. Da 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 da. It's Krieg. It's Don Krieg. I actually know who he is. Isn't that good? Speed. Oh my goodness! I think that the size of her figs are a bit too big there. Oh my goodness, that's not good, is it? Let's move on from that. Okay, Marco. He does nothing. He's got a big blank box on him. Can they not give him a quote or something? <laughs> We should write some on there for him. All right, look, we got crocodile in some kind of form. Gum gum five fist pistol red hawk. <laughs> And some other cards, and we got a Don card. Cool. Can we open this one? Yes, we can. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Carrot. That's cool. Got another Krieg. Got another one of those. Oh my gosh! We got another one of those. <laughs> got another Marco. Come on, Marco. The pack's the same. Oh, we got a furry. For people who want that, we got him. Got another one of him. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Chunky pirate daddy, there, blimey. Okay, this is our shiny card, and we got a shiny Robin. Well, that's good. We can put her in our deck because I don't think she's shiny in our in our deck. So that's cool. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, we can't do it. His tooth. Too powerful. Ooh, that's quite a cool picture. It's a quite quite a cool piece of artwork. It's nice because it tells you the name of the where they come from at the bottom. 
The beautiful pirates. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's got a nice shine on it. But a red is still a it's still a rare. It's a nice shine, but it's still a rare. Ooh, we've got a, is that a super rare? Okay, we've got a super rare. Well good, we've got a super rare crocodile. It's nice. It uses the original artwork. The the, the I think that the, the shine is a bit more rainbowy. But yeah, crocodile. He's super rare. Well, that's cool. We can put him in our, put him in his crocodile box, can't we? Ta da! <laughs> well, that was actually really fun and cool, wasn't it? <laughs> and so, yeah, overall, I really like the cards. Uh, they so they have they have quite a plasticky quality to the sides of the cards, and I actually quite like that because it makes them feel resilient. I feel like that they're designed to be played with. And I think that that's nice. I think that the quality of them is, is very playable. They're kind of soft and smooth and they have a nice feel to them and stuff like that. They, the overall, like, they might be slightly, like, stamped out of the machine just slightly. You can see at the top edge there where it's stamped out for, for collector's purposes. But the rare cards don't seem to have that effect on it too much and stuff like that. So... Overall, I think it's a really good product, and there's just so many characters and things in one piece. Like, there's going to be so much. There's basically, I feel like there's something for everyone. And these are only two of the decks. You can see I bought number one, number three. So there's two other decks as well for starters and everything. So yeah, I'm really pleased with everything. I think we did really good. We got our done, done. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, let me know what you think, and I'm excited to go and play with it now. So yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>